Greetings everyone, welcome. I would like to give thanks and praise unto the Most High for all that He has done, is doing, and will do for us. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, Christ said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Are you willing to deny the lust of your flesh and follow the teachings and principles of Christ? 1 John 2 verse 15 to 17 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. The world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth for ever. Matthew 19, verse 16 to 17. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God, the Most High. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. There is nowhere written in scriptures where Christ said, Worship me, I am God, the Father. Christ's teachings were written for us to follow his principles so we can get to our Heavenly Father through our repentance and obedience to the most I will and commands. Today we will read Matthew chapter 7 and we will all observe and interpret Christ's teachings according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I will begin reading. Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Verse 1 and 2, here, Christ is saying to us that whatever we do unto others will come right back to us. Continuing, verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or all wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Here Christ is saying that we must learn to examine ourselves first and search our own hearts before we examine others. Yes, we can correct each other, but let it be done in love and oneness of spirit. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, 
and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If he then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Yes, these teachings of Christ are very deep, and we should take note of them. It is very true, as written, if ye being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, then how much more shall your heavenly Father, who is righteous, loving, patient, forgiving, merciful, full of favor, grace, and compassion, if you surrender to the Most High, then you will lack absolutely nothing. Continuing, verse 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. I will repeat verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Verse 15. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. By their fruits, you shall know them. Just observe the results of someone's life. Continuing, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. From verse 21 to 23, Christ was warning the people then 
and is still warning us today that whoever refuses to do the will of our Heavenly Father are iniquity workers. So it doesn't matter what name we think that we are calling on will not save us, but it is he who doeth the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us go back to Matthew chapter 19, verse 16 to 17. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he, Christ, said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Brothers and sisters, we must keep the commandments and do the will of the Most High. Hallelujah. Continuing, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Yeshua had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Yes, Christ was walking in the power and authority of the Most High. The Holy Spirit was in Yeshua. Hallelujah. Beloved, we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope that we were all able to grasp the concept and message. All praise, glory, and honor to the Most I, Yahuwah, for giving us revelation knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Until next time, Yahuwah's willing, love you all. Shalom.